All right, we got chapter 313 of Kaiji. They surveyed the entire commuting rush, all the people that flooded out of Kaiji's mom's apartment building in the morning. They thought that this might be a good opportunity for Kaiji to try to make an escape. They, they uh, were more optimistic perhaps than ever before that they would finally catch that weird old lady. But no luck. So this is, well, 30 minutes, then 40 minutes passed. All the while they watch the entrance way in question closely. I like that there's a student running out late and that he's running because all the other students had left before. Again, just little details that have no bearing whatsoever on the plot. But really show that uh, Fukumoto was kind of thinking about the reality of the situation. It checked off all the residents coming from the entryway leaving to Kaiji's mother's apartment closely and carefully and yet certainly not Kaiji. Not even that strange old lady from the other night showed themselves that morning. So that's something that is still suspicious. That's something that will still uh, increase their suspicions further, that that lady went in and never came out, right? So even though they, they of course, uh, didn't find Kaiji himself, they should feel a little more strongly, I think, right now that he is in the building. And then it will take quite a lot for that that current strength of conviction to uh, peter off. I strike out. Only people that emerged with residents on their list. Unfortunate outcome. Same time an outcome that Endo had anticipated and planned for. That look-alike old lady, the same Japanese overall apron as you saw. Sure. Can you say for certain she was a different person from the old lady you saw last night? Sir, there's no mistake. Saw from far away, but their facial features were so different it couldn't be. Going in. Third floor. Clear. If the mysterious old lady wasn't Kaiji, they wouldn't bother crouching down to avoid being seen with the aperture between floors. You guys saw that would mean they actually had to do something on the second floor since they're going to the third floor today. Okay, sure, sure. Your serious old lady we're concerned with went in that entryway last night and still hasn't come back out. Right, right. So they can be sure that the old lady is kind of up to something. Something weird is going on, perhaps. That they had never seen her go into the apartment building before. And now she has has not re-emerged since last night. Now it could be an overnight visitor, could have all sorts of fairly reasonable explanations, but as the days goes on, those explanations start withering away, and it comes to the point where something truly strange has to be happening with this old lady, right? She doesn't emerge for a week, she doesn't emerge for a month. So, the old lady hadn't come out of the apartment building, even after midnight rolled around, that old lady, old lady seems markedly likely to be Kaiji, last night discovered what we were doing. They realized we had fortified our surveillance. Yes, yes. Smart by Endo to put this together, knowing that Kaiji's best shot, or several very logically good shots, had passed without him taking action. And, uh, and though I, I, it seems like he still hasn't considered the possibility that Kaiji miraculously would have been glancing through the peephole when it was that he stood in front of Kaiji's mom's door. That, uh, that possibility doesn't seem like it's occurred to him. So I think all he thinks is that Kaiji has just noted the additional surveillance. Discovered that we had our sights on him, heavily suspecting he was in there. The moment he discovered that, the actions he would consider taking would be limited to down to one of two things. Change his appearance and break out by force. Slip in the car out of the morning rush and make his escape that way. Call it plan A. And there's plan B to barricade himself in. Oh, and we know. We know what he's really doing. We know the hell that he has undertaken. The way that he has decided to live for these next days, weeks, who knows how long. Eating convenience store food on the floor of his bathroom. That's not what you expect a billionaire to be doing, huh? Huh. And yet, there's still kind of a coziness to it. Maybe it's just because I love that convenience store food. But, uh... Yeah, maybe I'd do it. Get me some books. 
get me uh, internet access, ideally. Keep myself busy. Study a lot of kanji. That mean things went the wrong way then. It's the opposite. It's to our flavor. I planned it to turn out this way. There's no need to make the man I set to watch the veranda side go out of his way to stand right outside the car like he still is. As long as you see the veranda would be fine. Oh, oh, interesting, interesting. So, Endo deliberately showed Kaiji. I've got it all sealed. You need to bulwark. You need to seal yourself away. Endo wanted it to go to this stage of the game. He's down for the long, grindy endgame. That's just the sort of shogi player he is. So, so, now it comes down to NG, uh, Kaiji's fortitude versus Endo's. They're both totally aware of what's going on. Neither of them seem like they, they have any tricks that they're willing to try playing here. They're just betting on the idea that they'll survive longer than the other in this stakeout condition. Uh, that's, uh, that's a bet, all right. Um, what's going to happen? What is going to happen? I don't know. Much in the entrance, there's no need for us to park our cars right inside the front. I'm in a faraway place, and all four of us were inside the other car. Of course. He chose not to do that. I wanted to pressure him in an obvious way to make sure the Kaiji can't come out so easily. So, relatives or friends living in the complex might be still left there. Things could go badly when we try to break in. Because of the scene, police might come over. And let's take out any more after that will become impossible. Can't just break in however we want. At the moment, we're at a deadlock. It's as if there's a valuable crown. These are, of course, the royal jewels of the British royal family, I believe. Okay, so the, the, the other security team doesn't seem to grasp the true reality of the situation. Maybe they're just kind of in denial themselves <laughs> because they don't want to be on stakeout duty for as long as this is going to take. But it seems like they think the whole plan is just to confirm that Kaiji's inside and then go kicking down the door. Whereas Endo, I think, really is in for the long haul. But he is willing to just wait until Kaiji himself crawls over to his feet and says, I cannot stand living with my mother for a second longer. Surrounded by all sorts of security measures. It's an infrared sensor that will trigger an alarm if you cross a certain point. Burglars stuck crossing our rhymes and waiting in front of that kind of system. That security system will be severed from their side in just a short while. Okay, so what's the plan? How is he so sure of this? Does he just think that Kaiji can't possibly stay cooped up there for so long? Or is he going to force their hands somehow? Now Kaiji is holed up in the apartment. The goal of that is to wipe away our doubts and suspicions. He's there, but he wants us to think he's not. If were you in that spot, what do you think you'd do? Do? What would I do? Well, if it was me, you'd have to keep up with a facade of normalcy. So that means that Kaiji's mom still has to go out, go to work, do the shopping, all that stuff that she normally does. She has to make noise in the apartment and do all the things that she would do normally without ever signaling that anything is the, as a mess, without ever talking to her son out in the living room, anything like that. So is there some part of that scheme, some part of that routine that has a weakness? Something that you can actually indicate. I feel like they have to be targeting Kaiji's mom here. And I feel like they must be able to infer that uh, relationships between the two aren't the greatest, just based on the general background they have on Kaiji, right? I think they, they probably are pretty confident in that. But there's been a lot of lost communication between the two. What's the plan? Conversely, I think Kaiji needs to somehow target the rest of the surveillance team. 
It's not going to be endo that breaks. It's going to be them. I feel like that's quite appropriate for this showdown and something that they seem to be hinting at quite a bit. Okay. You'll see in time. All right. If we just wait, our C route will calm down for us. <laughs> see? We're going to wait. We're going to wait even more. Won't take that long. Just give it an hour or two, and the time will come. Look. What, what could be happening in just an hour or two? It's already served its purpose. Just as Endo said, it didn't take much time at all. 9 a.m. Expecting to take over from the graveyard shift. The morning shift arrives to watch the apartment complex, and here's the explanation of what happens at this point. From their cohorts already there. It's right in the middle of this, at 9.20, the time of Endo spoke arrived. The time Endo spoke up arrived. Okay, so, now they have... A huge team of people. The evening shift is there, the morning shift is there, and the graveyard shift is still there. The Tai people are just piling up and piling up. All of them milling around outside the apartment building. What will happen? She emerges! Kaiji's mother, Hatsue. Two hours after the morning rush. Oh, she looks so stylish. Don't you love that look? That kind of hat. With that scarf, that kind of plain handbag. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a lot to live here. Two hours after the morning rush, he'd come and gone. At the late time that her mother sets off, his mother sets off to work. Okay, so now is the time that they raid the apartment because they can confirm that everyone on the list has left. Now is the time that they get up real close to the apartment and listen for movement still within. Now is the time they just throw tear gas, glass, bleh, tear gas grenades through the window and just say, get out of here, Kaiji. I don't know. Okay, so what's the plan? That's Kaiji's mom. Five days a week, she goes to her job at the supermarket from now until five in the afternoon. She'll be right on time. This is exactly it. Kaiji's chosen to hold up in the apartment to keep think of this. Keep things normal the same as always. If mother's going to go off to work, she has to do it the same time she always does. She won't want to do anything irregular that would stand out as suspicious. Only natural consideration to make for someone hiding out. Obvious course of action. That obvious action is the key to the security system. It will be the thing to drive away the goddess protecting him. Kaiji's mother was his lifeline. His lifeline, his protector. <laughs> I thought of one plan. Because there's the whole fried chicken story. The fried chicken arc. Are they just gonna try to bait out Kaiji <laughs> by barbecuing and stuff all over the place? <laughs> and then uh, if he makes his mom go out and get barbecue or something? No, 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 no. I, I don't know where the heck this is going. I don't. I don't. <sighs> ah, what's the plan? What's the plan? Could it really be so simple as all right? It's time to go kick down the apartment door. The Joker card in his deck. It's only because his mother was in the apartment with him that we weren't able to break in. He's all alone, left hiding away in one of the rooms of that place. With lock picking tutorials and pliers to sever the chain lock. Oh, jeez. It's really happening. The counter break. Ah, jeez. That's quite brash. I thought it would be a little more... Um, endurance-based or psychological or something, but I mean, this, this seems like it'll work. <laughs> this, I, I uh, have a hard time understanding how Kaiji is going to get out of this if they're just breaking into the dang apartment. All right. I also like that when Endo pictures Kaiji, he's kind of just uh, stowed away in a corner of a bedroom. He, he can't even conceive of the true indignity of the situation that Kaiji is just Huddled up on the bathroom floor. Okay, we can break in whenever we want, can't we? 
Maybe don't shout that in a public space, but whatever. You're right. Now, this mother to act like a siren by shrieking the actions. The rest is actually very simple. There's many people on our side. The act of capturing Kaizu itself will be scooping up goldfish at a festival. Get ready. Oh boy. So Kaiji must have thought of this, right? And yet he still planned for like a week long bowl bowl work. He still sent his mother out because he was worried that anything that made it too obvious he was there would lead them to just busting down the door and grabbing him and saying, to hell with the risk and the consequences. We know where he is now. We're, we're going to just throw ourselves at it. And if for whatever reason the police get involved, we would at least have confirmed his location and can continue chasing him or something. Something like that, right? Like, that's the big fear of causing suspicion and irregularity. And he still sent his mother out. So he must have considered the fact that if they're willing to just bust down the door under some circumstances uh, by, by finding, you know, that sweet spot in, like, the risk-reward matrix, Kaiji 90% likely to be there, police, like, 75% likely to come, um, with his mother gone, it'll shoot way down to, like, Kaiji less likely to be there, but then police also less likely to come, right? And, and the risk of the police goes down, too, because without Kaiji's mom there, it, it becomes a lot harder to have Kaiji kind of defend himself legally. And... I don't know. Okay, okay. So, all I'm saying is that I think Kaiji must have had a plan. He must have thought about this. And the fact that we've been away from Kaiji's perspective so much in these chapters, which is really cool, by the way. I really appreciate the fact that this is kind of the endo arc. Uh, and then we get to see a lot of his thinking and stuff, too. Uh, <clears throat> but, but the fact that we've been away from Kaiji for so long, he must have had a plan. And basically, this is looking a lot like the movie Home Alone, starring a young Macaulay Culkin. So I think his plan will involve, like, cans of paint suspended on, on, on ropes that trigger when the door is opened. Ba-blam! And then the RC car picks up the Tai gangsters and drives them down off of the stairs. And... I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out. We're going to find out right away. When we read chapter 314, only three more chapters until we're caught up. Not just with the scanlations, but with the world. So uh, I'm very excited about that. Thank you as always to Fukumoto Crazy. And I'll see you tomorrow.